Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today we're going to be cooking a Wagyu Denver Cut Steak. If you're not familiar with the Denver Cut, it comes from the chuck, which is under the flat side of the shoulder of the cow. There's a lot of great marbling in the steak. It can be super tender, Again, especially when you cut across the grain when you're serving it or eating it. It is a great piece of meat. I'll be showing it to you in just a second. And we're going to be using the slow and sear and the cold grate technique on my kettle grill. This is also a collaboration with Joe at Southern Coastal Cooking. Joe's going to be doing something completely different. I'm looking forward to seeing what he's doing. With that, I got up here in the iCard. We'll have a link to his channel. Be sure to go there and show him some love. If you haven't subscribed to his channel, be sure to subscribe and let everybody know about this, this channel as well. So let's bring you in a little bit closer and we'll show you these Wagyu Denver steaks. All right, here are our Denver cut steaks. You can see the beautiful marbling in here. This is mainly because it is a Wagyu piece of meat. You can see some of the deep red that's in these steaks. And what I did is a couple of days ago, I put a quarter, excuse me, a half a teaspoon of kosher salt per pound. These are a little bit less than a pound a piece. So I put a little bit less kosher salt on these. I wrapped them in plastic and foil, set them in the refrigerator and let them sit for a couple of days. After that, I took them out and I put them on a wire rack with a pan underneath it and kind of do a little air dry for most of today. So, and what this is gonna do, that it's gonna, it's gonna keep all those juices inside there. Also, that dry is gonna allow us to get a great sear on the outside. But let's go ahead and get these on the grill and get started on this cook. All right, we're gonna get these on the grill. These are some beautiful pieces of meat. Now these two pieces on this side are a little bit thicker, a little bit more ounces on those. So I'm gonna put the probe in the thickest piece, which is about right here. We're gonna kind of monitor this piece here. These two pieces over here are a little bit thinner, not as many ounces. These are also gonna be cooked a little bit longer. These two right here are gonna be cooked around medium rare, medium. Uh, these two right here are for a couple of people that want them done a little bit more. That's fine. Uh, whatever they like to do. So we're going to go ahead and close our lid. And we're going to leave this on here until we get to about 80 degrees internal. Okay, we're going to check these out. We're looking for 80. We're right there at it. A little bit, probably a little bit more here because these are a little thinner. So what we want to do now is we're going to flip these steaks over. Take this probe out. Coming along nicely. We want to go to 115 internal. And then we're going to put these on the slow and sear to get that nice sear on it. We're keeping it right around 225 to 250. So just a few more minutes. All right, we're going to check them out. See where we're at. For an instant read Maverick thermometer. All right, we'll get a 118. Yeah, we're good. We need to go ahead and take these off. Now what we want to do is we're going to remove any excess moisture on these. And we're going to put a coating of olive oil. On both sides. And 
and some fresh ground pepper. Slip these over. Through this side. All right, let's get these back on the grill. Added some extra coals here. So we can do this sear. We're gonna try to go maybe a minute to two minutes on these. Again, these are not as, these are not that thick. So we don't want to over burn them, overcook them. So we can get these in here. We've been going for a minute and a half, so now we're going to flip these over. We're going to spin this grate. And flip these over. Maybe another minute on this side. And we'll be good. All right, these are done. We're going to take them off. All right, here we go. Look at the nice color on here. Got a little bit of char there, but nothing major. Beautiful mahogany color. So we're going to cut into one of these bad boys right quick. We've got our grain kind of running diagonally, so I think I'll just kind of cut a piece off right here using my meathead knife, my meathead knives. Dot com. Look at that. Look at that. Perfectly, perfectly cooked. Man, oh man, oh man. That is one beautiful piece of meat. That is beautiful. We're going to try a piece of this now. Let's give it a try. You can see that beautiful, beautiful piece of meat. Again, that beautiful mahogany on it. <laughs> if you have not tried Wagyu beef, please get you some. It is worth it. Also, I'm sure there's plenty of folks out there that say things about the cold grade technique, but I can tell you one thing. I am a firm believer. I do not get paid anything from adrenaline barbecue this is absolutely some of the best steak i have ever had in my life along with that wagyu beef that just melts in your mouth super tender that denver cut again i highly recommend it and this meat came from midland meat company out of texas look them up give john a call you won't be disappointed i promise you guys if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing like share give me some feedback comments if there's something that you're looking forward to seeing me cook let me know thanks so much and god bless